Corporal's Corner, River Monster Edition. All right, that time again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. This time we got some gear review, some bushcraft, and some fishing. Welcome to Corporal's Corner, River Monster Edition. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are, we're on the back half of my property. Once again, it's overgrown, looking primitive, but we're gonna take care of that here in a few minutes. I'm gonna start doing a lot more gear reviews in my videos and then add the bushcraft and survival to it tips and tricks. Um, today I mentioned it was River Monsters and I got something in store that's going to be outstanding AF. So let's get to our site, get it cleaned up, and go from there. Two problems right off the bat. One, there's no pump included. It's sold separately. And nowhere on that or in the description when I bought it says pump sold separately. So luckily I have one, so we'll take care of that. Second strike, okay, there's three parts to this. There's a skeletal frame that blows up. There's an inner tent and an outer tent. This thing is marketed that it goes up in two minutes. Well, it goes up in two minutes once you've assembled everything and placed it back inside your box. So right now it's kind of pain in the butt. I got to untwist everything, close all the valves, partially inflate that skeletal structure, then put the inner tent hooked to it and then the outer tent. So bear with me. Kind of resembles that material that you make life vests out of. You, know, you pull the little string and the CO2 cartridge inflates it, boom. Um, ultimately, two men enter, one man leaves. Welcome to Thunderdome. Okay, so without your rain fly, this is what you're looking at right here. Simply connect your toggles to your D-rings on your skeleton, and you're in business. Now, how do I join the rain fly? This is the tricky part, and strike three for me. I don't like this at all. You have to take all this back off and drop it to the ground. Take your rain fly, place it over top of that, connect the rain fly toggles to the frame D-rings, suspend it, then reconnect the bottom portion of the tent. So it's a lot of extra work, but they claim once you do all this, you can fold it up and pump it back up in like two minutes, but I'm skeptical.
Okay, so this is advertised as a three-person tent. I don't see it. Um, two fat-ass Americans, maybe. Um, maybe three Europeans. Who knows? Uh, four hobbits. Uh, but with first and second breakfast, um, might not work. But two people comfortably in here with your gear. You got some pockets right there. There are a couple D-ring, plastic D-ring clips up here to hang lights off of. You have this deep bathtub that goes around it, probably about five inches. Made from, I'll look it up right here, 100% breathable nylon, ripstop, 40 denier, covers 54 square foot, um, 10 pounds, yeah, that sucks. You got a vehicle, yeah, otherwise you're gonna have to carry this thing and that's gonna be a problem. Um, we have, when you pack it down, it's 16 by 13 by 9 inches, it's about right. So, overall height, 50 inches. And you saw the zippers and the D-rings earlier. You have this inner, breathable tent covered by a rain fly. So, once again, no rain in the forecast and that sucks, but um, I'll bring her out again and try her out. The camp is pretty much set up. We have to dig a fire pit and then we'll go from there. But right now, I want to get some lines in the water. I want to try and get a bait fish and then take that bait fish, process it, and catch a predatory fish or a game fish. Um, last week we went for catfish and we got some small little mud dweller and I'm okay with that. But I'm looking at something that's called a bowfin. Now that's a prehistoric fish. Um, very little has changed with this, this fish since 200 to 145 million years ago during the Jurassic period. And these things are North America, mostly on the East Coast and they inhabit creeks and small bodies of water, and then they dominate. They kill everything in there, including themselves. And I think their closest relative is a gar, and these things have teeth like this. So we're looking for a bowfin, or several bowfin. Now to do that, I have these hooks that I'm hooked on. It's uh, from Six Cents. They're called flipping hooks. They're razor sharp. And I'll show you how I'm going to rig this. It's not conventional at all, but playing around out here, I found a way to basically get larger fish by keeping the bait over here and the hook below it. So placing my bait fish over the hook, in this case it's a piece of skipjack, I'm going to take it and slide it to that barb right there. This way when the fish actually engulfs that bait, the hook's going to be down inside of its throat. You know, digging a hole and using the earth for a berm around the fire pit is a lot easier than trying to collect rocks, tell you what. Especially a nice, rich soil like this. Oh, sh**. Fish on. Check this out. Yeah, buddy, right there. That's what we're talking about. Whoa, relax, buddy. Look at that. That's a bowfin, baby, right there. Looking like the head of a snake. Check that bad boy out right there. Look at that. That's a bowfin, check him out. Got the head of a snake, looking all gnarly. Badass. Hell yeah. Another one for the books.
Oh yeah. Okay, so that was cool AF. So Google bowfin. It's a prehistoric fish in North America, arrived on scene around 200 to 145 million years ago, and it's still here. And those bad boys can fight, and they got tiny little teeth on, probably about a good quarter inch, so they bite like hell. But that was fun AF. I put that bad boy back out of respect, and that's my only give me. So, happens again, it's all good in the hood. Okay, this bow fin sucks. The meat is like paste. Check that out. It just smears right off. And that is disgusting. So, um, I'm gonna try and get as much pieces as I can. I'm gonna bread them and then put them in oil and hope that it all works out. But yeah, that's looking like hammered dog shit. Yeah. bland taste to it, but if it's a survival fish, um, why not? This is what it's like to eat a dinosaur. The top predator in that creek, baby. And now it's me. I'm going to sit here and absorb this bad boy's soul. You know why? Because there can be only one.
Um, something new right now. Now, I went in and announced this last week on my Instagram and my Facebook pages, as well as the YouTube community page, and some people lost their F in minds. You don't understand the point of it. Okay, I enabled my channel memberships. It's not to try to beg you for money. The 3 to 5%, when I look at my analytics on every single video, it shows 3 to 5% of my subscribers watch my videos religiously week after week. Those 3 to 5% ask me all the time, what can we do for you to help other than just watch your videos? How can we show you support? What can I do? Can I donate to you? So I enable the channel memberships, not just for them, for everyone, but I use the words for the 3 to 5%. It's just a give back. Um, it shows your support for um, watching my channel. There's different levels and little icons and emojis and little fun things like that. So if you want to be part of that, watch a video or go to my channel, my main channel page, and it says join. Click that button. It will tell you how to do it. Now, I'm also aware that on cell phones or most cell phones, the join button does not work or it's not there. Use an iPad or a laptop and you'll be good to go. Bottom line, I want to be the first to do something different. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to see that tower series, I'm going to repackage it, call it something different, and finish it off and post it. But here's what I need you guys to do for me. Watch the first one and second one. Watch them two, three, four, five, six times. If you're the kind of person that I used to be in your feed and I no longer am, grab my videos, start a playlist, and just start watching them. This will put me back into your feed. That's the secret. Get me back into your feeds, and then YouTube will put me into the main feed. That's about it for me. So tomorrow, coffee time, we'll talk about the shelter. Um, check that pole. After I've nailed those two, nothing wants to touch that pole. So either I depleted all of them, which I highly doubt, or we scared them off. Corporal, apex predator. Catch you all in the morning. Coffee time. Oh, God. Last one I can stand up in. This one I gotta crawl out of. Okay, so, tattoo will be finished on Monday. All will be revealed. Um, let's talk about this shelter. The cave by Heim Planet or Heme Planet, probably Heim. Um, bit pricey, but it's cool. I mean, just looking at it. I mean, what Gen Xer wouldn't want to stay the night inside the Thunderdome? Just saying. Um, it's pretty cool. I actually like this. It's a... Uh, Bit of a pain in the butt to set up the first time, but now I can collapse it and pump it up hopefully in two minutes or less. Um, we'll find out. But yeah, I'm digging this. Pretty cool. Something different. So, more great things to come. And there you go. Solo overnight in a blow-up tent, Thunderdome style. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. So here's what I'm thinking, those that stuck around, probably my 3 to 5%. Um, thinking about building a yurt 
in the woods. We're talking elevated platform, yurt on top, then get inside, put some dividers inside of it, maybe a, a lean-to over top of the yurt. That way if any branches fall on it or snowfall, it will basically let it shed away. Something I'm thinking about. So might be a project for late fall, early winter. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think.